flying on a tie now is a fly named the Towie Special. So this is actually tied or invented by uh, a gent named Max James, who is no longer uh, no longer with us, I'm afraid. But uh, he was a really famous um, bailiff on the River Towie in West Wales, uh, and actually his son was uh, a, a really famous bailiff on the River Tyvee. Uh, so yeah, a, a, a family family uh, tradition there. Uh, he was a, a really yeah, a fantastic angler, uh, but didn't, you know, kind of kept himself to himself and not really uh, one that, you know, you got to know about what he was catching all that often. Uh, but those that knew him, uh, knew of, of his, um, yeah, how, uh, yeah, his, his capabilities and, uh, yeah, his success on, on this uh, seaweed front. So, this was a fly he invented named the uh, the Towie Special. So it's called the Max James Towie Special. Now you can see the style of it. So he, you know, this pattern was invented literally decades ago. But it's very much a, an intruder style. If you see the, you know, these hackles and all this movement with the, you know, the, the peacock and stuff. So it's it's very reminiscent of a of, of an. Of, a, of an intruder fly. I actually dress it more as an intruder. So this is the original, the one I'm holding here now, uh, which is tied in tube format, but I actually tie it more as a, an intruder uh, format on a, and, and I've changed it slightly, but I wanted to show you the original uh, just to have a have, have a bearing of, uh, of what the original should look like. Um, so, start off with so I've got a 35 mil um, intruder shank in the vise here and off the back of that I've actually got uh, or what I'm going to put off the back of that is uh, an intruder hook so partridge patriot intruder hook it's a size one but you know size size two uh, I couldn't find any size two it's actually it's probably size two would be would be better and it really depends on the size of the shank you're using as well so I basically work down from there if you're using a much shorter shank then obviously drop down to maybe a size four uh, wire really you know to your to your personal preference I've got some uh, what's it called the Senyo uh, intruder wire uh, which is there so I've already done I've already looped it through the through the hook uh, you literally just double the double the um, I'll show you quickly when you have the the wire strand you just dub it up create a little pinch point in it so if I'm trying to put that there create a little pinch point blue top and blue wire doesn't really show it off that well but just pinch it down so you've got a little pinch point take that pinch point in through the eye of the hook like so take that loop over the hook, just draw it over the hook like so and then when you pull it tight it pulls it into, pulls it in behind the eye and then it usually just sits there. You can manipulate it slightly to get it sitting straighter like so. And that's it. So uh, I've got a longer piece for the for the hook here. Um, black thread, I've just got a 10-0 Vivas. It's going to create a little bed because essentially if you didn't create a bed of thread that wire is obviously just going to pull. So it's going to create a, just keep away from the eye or the head section because that will aid the neatness and the um, just create a, a smaller head basically. Okay, so just there. Measure this up. So um, again, I've got this ready to go. Just measure this up where you want that protruding or trailing to. And as a rule, it should be to a point where you can still release that hook and change the hook. So I'm going to just test the water. I'm going to put it there. Just do a couple of turns because I can draw it back if need be anyway. Just make sure the ends are aligned. But at that point, I can then test to see if I can remove the hook. Yes, I can. 
so I can just slide that off if need be and what I'm going to do at this point just to make life easier and stop yourself from hooking yourself as you tie the fly I'm actually going to remove that hook but I know that basically after I tie the fly I can get that back on so I don't need that for the time being now so you can see it's still trailing back there I'm just going to pull it back a little bit because essentially I've got a couple of wraps to secure that is it that's now secure back there so that's going to be ready to just pop a, a hook on just take this up what we do is take it all the way up to there this is going to give you an even body by doing it this way which you will want just make sure that that is not going to slip so what you do at this point is you need to double this back I prefer to double it through the eye because you get a, a better connection it does add a bit of bulk to the head but I prefer the security so you know what it's a fishing fly not a show fly and just bring that down bring it all the way down because essentially if you were to cut these tag ends here you're then going to get a bump when you're trying to form the body you're not going to get a, a streamline or a even body take it back down just shy of where uh, the which call is connected the uh, the wire is connected so at this point uh, you can use wire cutters uh, I'm just going to use the the butts uh, sorry the the back end the base of the scissors like so one two just tie over those ends so that's a really secure base that's going absolutely nowhere what you can do at this point if you wanted to is super glue over it there but honestly that's going nowhere we're going to super glue up the head and stuff as well so that's going to give me more security up here so you'll see in the original it was actually ostrich uh, so it was, it was a blue hackle and then ostrich so I tend to, I tie mine more as an intruder so we'll actually I put uh, a dubbing ball here to actually help keep the um, keep the hackle from collapsing onto the uh, onto the uh, onto the, uh, the, the the trailing wire uh, trailing wire and hook uh, I've got some like a mosaic dubbing but honestly black um, yeah it doesn't really matter you're not going to see much of it this is more about just creating that ball of um, ball of dubbing just to stop the hackle from from collapsing and don't be shy about making a fairly sizable ball just again because what it's supposed to do is to stop that uh, you can pick it out you know it, it, there can be an attraction aspect to this but it's not its primary purpose so just there what we then do is just take it in a really just tie over it just keep tying over the same point just to create a nice ball because you don't want to take it down again it's supposed to just help you splay those feathers so first point then uh, so first hackle so this is again more like more like an intruder you got a schlap in um, the original as you probably saw was like a, a silver doctor blue I really like uh, royal blue so I'm actually going to use it does blend in a bit too well with my top uh, sorry about that you're not going to see it as well um, and what I do is just uh, on the schlap bend just release the fibers it's quite a webby fiber a uh, webby feather so just release them before taking a couple of turns of the feather and just turn just go slowly just release make sure you're not trapping any feathers as you go just keep brushing it back keep brushing it back I'm um, just do it nice tight touching turns because uh, you, you're basically building the the, ha the hackle against that ball of dubbing and that will stop it from collapsing 
So there you go, like three turns, more than enough, especially it's quite a strong colour, this royal blue. A couple of turns just to secure it, and then just keep combing these back, just build a dam in front of them, just to trap them in there. Snip off the excess, that feather is now secure, he says, he hopes, like so. So you can see that dubbing ball is helping to splay those fibers up. So that's perfect. It's got a bit of a hackle stem just to slip off there. Tidy that up. For the body, the original was just a silver tinsel with a uh, silver wire rib. I'm going to use my uh, flat uh, flat braid. I just prefer this for most bodies. Uh, I like the holographic silver. Again, this is definitely a variation of the, the Taui Special. So don't kind of take this as being the original. But there's so much of it that remains that uh, it's very much Max's pattern. Just take that tinsel down. Start it from the, uh, just below the head because that's going to just give you a nice even body again. Take it up, touching turns with this braid. The beauty of this braid is you don't need to rib over it. So it's a multi fibered. Make sure I haven't missed anything. There's a little tag there, but that's fine. A little bit of thread showing through just at the start. I'm okay with that. It's a fishing pattern. Take it up. Just there. Again, you'll see we haven't touched that head section yet. That's just to give us uh, a nice neat head. You know, the, the, the least amount we can touch up here for the time being, the better. Okay, so there's, you can just see What we're going to do now is we need another dubbing ball because we've got another hackle coming in. So the original does not have anything at this section. It didn't have ostrich or whatever. Uh, but again, I prefer to put a, a dubbing ball here just to help support the um, the wing and also the uh, the hackle, which you'll now see. All right, bringing that in. And just tie it on top of each other again. You just want that nice tight dubbing ball, like so. Again, you can pull it out if you want to, pick it out a little bit, but that's not the intention. It's just that nice tight dubbing ball. So, again, another royal blue schlappen feather. I'm just going to introduce that just tight behind that dubbing ball, like so. I'm just going to give it a couple of turns of this. Again, just try and tease out the feathers as you go around so you're not trapping them. If you do find a few trapped, which I can see there, just try and pull them out with a dubbing needle like that. It's easier to do it now rather than after you've secured them. And that's enough. So literally two or three turns is more than enough. Weave your thread through just to give you you're not trapping anything again and tie over the base just to secure it in place. Snip off the stem and there you go. So you've got that. You can see it's very intrudery at this point. So then we're on to onto the wing. It's going to clean up the base there a bit. So it's a two part uh, two part wing. First part is oak turkey uh, and the original very much utilizes the the white tips. Uh, you could again I'm very much a, a fisherman first and foremost fly tying is a means means to an end for me and that's to you know get get on the river. Uh, you could definitely marry these feathers up nicely. Uh, I don't. I literally just you know take a, a good pinch of them, double them over uh, and whack them in. Uh, so I'm just going to cut 
this off. So I've just taken a, a pretty big chunk of this. I'm just going to double it, double it over. So it's not going to give you the most precise of wings, but honestly, it's for what I'm going to use it for. It's going to be fine. Let's make sure that's marrying up nicely. A bit too much on one side there. There you go. So drape that back over and look for it to. I'm just going to roll that a bit there. So look for it to protrude. I would say um, look to where these hackles end. The, the 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 rear hackle. Look to where those hackles end. And aim for the wing to end at that point. Pinch and loop and secure it down. That looks good. Don't worry about it if it's kicking up, splaying, whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't. Cut off those butt sections. So, that's the underwing. And it's more or less, yeah, you know, I'm trying to think about why Max was doing a lot of these stuff. And I would say that he did that more as a, a supporting feature for the, the peacock that was going over, which is much finer material, which probably would have collapsed a lot more if it wasn't for that base. But also that white tip definitely shows through. Uh, the overwing is going to be peacock, and I really like to use these really fine feathers at the top here. If you look at the original, it's very much like a fine wispy, uh, wispy peacock, so I'll very much with that in mind. He more or less use half of the eye, so the top end of the the peacock, you got half, half of that, half of that coming in. So I'll trail that back over. Use the natural curvature of that feather. There's definitely a curvature. You can see that. And drape it over. Drape it over. Take that a bit further back than the uh, the underwing. That oak turkey. Bring that over when you're happy, bring it down, and again, pinch and loop. Like so. T snip off the, the base. So there's one aspect left, and that's basically the um, jungle cock. So they, the original did have jungle cock, like so. You can see that. So jungle cock either side. Let's going to start off on my side, as it were. Now, if I was talented, like. Davy McPhail, I would tie these in together, but I'm not, so I tie them in separately. Uh, Davy has a really cool way of tying them in and displaying them across, but again, he's a far better tie than me. So I measure them up, I'm happy with that. Just pinch them either side of the, the wing, basically, like so. You can see that fly coming together now. So take the thread down, pull the, the stems back over the fly, and tie over just to really secure the jungle cock in place. Snip off the stems, and that's all that's left now is to tidy up this head and whip finish. To take your thread over this head section, just to give you a nice neat finish, nice touching turns, just to cover up the base of that wire as well. Don't be afraid of just building that up slightly, just to cover up everything that's there. That's nice and neat, there's a little rogue blue fibre poking through here for some reason. I'll try and snip that off. There you go. 
and that's the fly finished so that is the the Max James Towie special uh, a great early season pattern uh, on the Towie but also you know just a, a great sea trap fly in general uh, and one that I would recommend you tying up so I'll be left there now just to yeah super glue or UV varnish the UV uh, resin the head but that is the the Towie special I hope I've done it justice for for Max and uh, I hope if you do take it out on the water that uh, you fish it in his memory and uh, I hope you catch a, a sea win or two on it to to commemorate uh, commemorate Max and uh, and his pattern tight lines